weaving large balloons. The lattice or basket weave. I call it such because I don't know what it's actually called. Okay. Here we're basically going to be making a tube. Um, if you use three balloons, then you'd make a triangle shaped tube. If you used four, a square. If you want anything circular, you have to use five or more balloons. In this case, I'm going to use five. Most of the time, I use an even number of balloons. That way, if I need to connect them at the top, the balloons can all have something to connect to on the other side. Okay, once you have it all tied together at the bottom, what you do is you go up, create about a one inch bubble, and you're going to go along. And if you want the tube to stay the same length, you make the bubble the same length as the bubble underneath it. We're going to keep twisting along the side. Each balloon's only going to come up about an inch. The last one, so we're going to create it, and we're going to twist, and then shove it between the two next balloons. Okay, and you do that many, many times more, and fast forward. And you can see the balloons kind of go up and over and up and over and up and over. Once again, most of the time I don't use different color balloons when I do this particular weave, but in order to show how the weave works together, I use different color balloons. Alright, let's go ahead and finish this, this set of balloons off. Oh, if you want to make the tube change in shape, either make the, the bubbles going around the side larger or smaller. In this case, I'm making them larger and it kind of poofs out a little bit. If I were to make them smaller, it would contract and allows for very dynamic shapes that way. This is actually the weave I use the most when building um, different designs just because it's so flexible in what it can do. Alright, we're getting to the end of our balloons. I'll go ahead and go around one more time. And I'll show you how to get rid of excess. You can either break off a balloon, which is not necessarily hard, but if you do it enough times it gets time consuming. What I prefer to do instead is whatever's left, just push it on the inside. Most people aren't going to see the inside anyways. If you push it on the inside, and then what you do with new balloons is you're going to tie them. Well, let me get the new balloons first. Okay. Just tie them in each of the spots. Change colors again. This whole thing looks very ugly because it has so many different colors in it. But and I'll put them all on there. Red because I have red on the other set. Okay, and then you just go right back into what you were doing before. And you can use the bubble underneath the one you're twisting to measure the size you want, whether you want it to keep it the same size, bigger or smaller. Um, here we'll go ahead and we'll teach you how to make this whole thing, this whole tube bend. So here instead of making a, a one inch bubble, I'm just going to go take the balloon directly into the next one with a one inch bubble. And around until I get to here, and then I'm going to twist it into the base of the balloon. And then this orange one will just get twisted straight across. And we basically just changed the direction of the tube a little bit. And you can do that three or four times depending on how much you want it to um, to bend. The bend I created here is not very significant. Now we just go back to weaving the way we were doing before. And this would be a way to do um, well lots and lots of different things. Um, and do is it for doing arms and legs and bodies and anything that has kind of a, a three-dimensional shape to it. And you can see how it curves a little bit. A little bit hard to see on this one, but you can kind of see how it curves a little bit better. 
And that is what I call the basket weave. It's a weave that has been out there for a while, so it probably has a different name, but I really don't know it. Okay, I'll show you some of the things we use it for. You can see here how it's bigger on the top, it's smaller on the bot on the top or small big on the bottom, smaller on the top. I also used it for the arms, although I think that was three balloons, so it was kind of triangular arms. Um, and you can see how versatile it is. I used it throughout this entire um, design, except for maybe the head. And here as well, with both the princess and the plumber, I used the lattice weaves. Like I said, it's the one I use the most, I can do the most with it.